Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. Last time we left off, we found out we can fast travel. Also, my charm effects have worn off. That's a, that's a thing. So, we just gotta go report to Chief Gara now. We should probably just go ahead and get back and do that. And we can just go back to town. But we could also explore a little bit longer. Ooh, I got three paintballs. So, was there any other... Uh, kind of creature I maybe wanted to grind. Maybe the big long neck looking things. Things with uh, big long necks. I forgot what they were called because I think I needed some more of those uh, to upgrade my armor. This like leather armor that I have. Uh, I could murder you guys. Do you really want to do this? Okay, but whatever man. If you're so quick to die, be my guest. Um, and yeah, we do need to use power attacks against you. I don't know what you think of bows yet. That seemed like pretty good damage, though. Oh wait, I just used power when they were speed. Oopsie. Uh, yeah, that was my bad. Kablooey. Dead. Legendary Hunter. One turn victory. Yeah, I'm kind of godlike, but these are just... Wow, how many times are you going to say that, Kana? Loss of prey scales, and some monster bones, and a screamer sack. Cool. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, yeah, these boys. I think I want to murder some more of you. Because I think you have things that I want. So, I apologize in advance. I must kill you. Yeah, ha ha, we stuck up on- oh, we stuck up on them. Uh, you guys were power, I'm pretty sure. So... We want to go ahead and use speed attacks on you. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and hit you with the speed. Bluey. Yeah, and you guys are way weaker than I thought you were going to be, too. Like, you look like these monstrosities that have a ton of HP, but you really don't. And Abmar's super strong. My Aptanoth? Not so much. But it's fine. We're not going to take any damage. That's a two-turn victory. I still hate how they spasm when they die. You did it! It's just sad. Uh, alright. So, yep. We needed some more Laranoth hide, I believe. So, now that we've got some more of that... Um, I'm pretty sure... <coughs> Jeez, cough. We learned last time, yeah, we can fast travel from here. So if we're ever out and about and want to get back really quickly, we can just do that. Ow! My pair effects wore off too. Alright, so... Good job. Congrats on moving up the ranks, Quasi. You must be so excited to be a full-fledged rider now. Defeating a Yon Kutku is like a rite of passage for hunters. I guess they'll stop treating you like a newbie now. Uh-huh. Okay, well I have a bunch of quests to turn in, don't I? Uh, yep. Well done, Stake. Uh, deliver- oh, auto, deliver, nope, auto, deliver, there we go. Let me get some money for that. And a skillfully grilled steak restores 150 HP, then gradually recovers more HP for five turns. Okay, so you get a heal and regen, cool. Uh, Hakolo commodity, commodities. There you go. Enjoy those king truffles. Uh-huh. And... Wow, thanks for the two stones. Well, great, I could have just went out and got those myself, but cool. Tracking basics. You should give me XP. A combo recipe for paintballs. Perfect tool for marking targets. And we get three paintballs. Cool. Um, stone, we need 15 stones. And I got, what for this exactly? Earth crystals. Yeah, we needed those for upgrading some things. And take out six Velocipres, we get a potion. Kana and Avmar leveled up. Thank you. So, all these other things. What do we gotta do? We need... Uh, so wait, these are completed. Why are they still... Oh! Okay, we can we can keep doing these. Uh, okay, well thanks for the well done steak. Okay. So those are ones we can keep doing. Over and over again, it seems. Gotcha. Um, Alright, so... 
I guess we'll just stop with those. We haven't done that. We haven't done that. We haven't done that. I still need to offer another charm. All right, cool. And we can probably do that trial quest now, but I'm going to upgrade some stuff first. Any subquests we can turn in? You. Let's go turn you in. We can also hatch some things because we did get some new stuff. You're back. I sure am. Hi Good to there. see you back, Quasi. How did the Banahabra call go? I murdered him. Carpenter bug. Ah, uh, before I turned all these quests in, I should have hatched my other monster. I'm a fool. We got, wait, rock, oh! Oh, that's you. Kulu Yaku got rock stampede. Deal light non-elemental damage to an enemy. Okay, cool. And a carpenter bug. Uses viscous fluids and sharp jaws to construct ant hills that are a sight to behold. That's great! All right, it's time hey. to cast out my line. I'll make sure to catch some delicious fish for you two. Thank you. All right, so let's go over here and check in on our eggs and see what new things we can get. Welcome back, any egg here, safe on my paws. Uh, hatch, so we got a few. So this one has an amazing smell, which sounds good to me. I'll, I'll hatch all of them. So what do we got? We got... Uh, uh, Kulu Yaku, which was the good smell light one. Uh, sure. You are level one. Cool. And a Velocidrum that has higher stats. That's the amazing smell one, right? Yes. Okay, so you're, you're pretty good. You got Killer Strike, Health Boost, Non-Elemental Attack Boost, and Marginally Increases Head-to-Head -head Damage. Okay, so you're basically going to be replacing what I have currently. Cool. And a Yonkutku. This one. So that's the other one we got. It was a regular smell and light. And... It does... Fire damage? Marginally boosts fire defense and deal light non-elemental damage. Yeah, it's because it has attack and it has like a little fire icon beside it. And it looks like it's weak to ice. Okay. Neato. Well, let's uh, edit the monsty party here. So... Do I need two Velocidromes? Especially if this new one's probably going to be better than both of you. Because you have 97 HP. This one already has 85. You have 62 attack, this one has 33 defense. Uh, yeah, speed. Your speed's the same. Uh, yeah. I mean, we should probably just replace, uh, you guys with this one. And my Kulu Yaku has, what are those, your genes? So, yeah, this is the things we've unlocked so far. So this is less a skill tree and more just like a linear thing that you get. So, toss, uh, rock gene, rock stampede, might gene, non-elemental attack boost S. Okay, so I understand more about this now. Cool. And the bingo list? Yeah, I, mm -mm, we're not looking at that. I don't know what the hell is up with that bingo list. Okay, but your genes are slightly better, right? Um, you already start out with Merciless, which is spend more kinship gauge to unleash skills at full power. Up one, slightly increases skill power. Okay, and you can get Stone Shield, Rock Stampede. Okay, so you are just a better Kulu Yaku, it seems. Yeah, alright, we'll just go ahead and switch you in as well. Um, and then we probably want to bring you in, right? Because you actually do some elemental damage. You're my first elemental creature, because everyone else just does non-elemental stuff. So, uh, goodbye, Ranmar. It's been nice knowing you. All right, cool. So, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Our new monsty party is set up. And we can manage them. Go to manage monsters to change their names or select monsters to release back into the wild. Press Y to register a monster as a favorite and it will be shown at the top of the list. 
To obtain a stable blueprint from Malik's Inc., you can expand your stables and allowing you to keep more monsters. Okay, so... We can favorite them. Weirdly enough. Probably so we make sure we never get rid of them. I, I say weirdly enough, but I totally understand why they would do that. Okay, so you two are- you- are, you guys are all my rarity twos. Oh, and wait, you're- no, you're a rarity two as well. Actually, everything here is a rarity two, except for this very wimpy apt to Noth. Alright, well, you'll probably get replaced at some point. I'll make sure your monsters are bathed, well fed, and all that. Alright, cool. We've done that, so... let's go over here and... Possibly upgrade our stuff. I'm also considering buying a gun lance. Welcome. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not crazy about the poison ability on this bow. Bow kinda suck. Uh, what does this do? Sleep coating might be nice, though. See, now that stuff I'm more interested in, because that poison damage was barely doing anything. But, if we have something that puts them to sleep now, that might be a bit more useful. Excuse me, the chicken decapitator? Oh wow, it does fire damage. Uh huh. Well, that is uh certainly interesting. And yeah, it is just straight up better than the hunter bow. And it does fire damage. See, the only problem I have with doing elemental damage is then you get into a circumstance where you need like a slash weapon. But your slash weapon's fire, and then it's not as good. Coot coup pick. Um Mm. And your skill is Blast Fire Chaser. Smash one enemy. Targets, and, and targets inflicted with burn or blast blight take more damage. Okay, so... Do we have a way to inflict burn though? I guess with maybe just a basic attack it might have a chance of inflicting it. Um, okay, and then we got Bone Crisp, Bone Hammer, Iron Horn, Bone Gun Lance. Bone Gun Lance is interesting. Um, <clears throat> and what is your, what's the deal with gun lances again? I would have to get reminded on how they actually work. Um, let's, uh, let's, Thank let's you. just remind ourselves on how gun lances work, because I'm kind of interested in trying them. The whole reason I went with the bow in the first place was because the hammer said it did well with, um, status effects, basically. Like, that was the, uh, explanation we got for that. But, um, I don't know. So, hammer. Blunt type for breaking monster parts. Winning a head-to-head -head, uh, levels up the charge gauge, namely using even strong skills. Also comes with skills that are especially effective against opponents afflicted with abnormal statuses. Yes. Um, and then, pierce type weapon which fires shells. You get more ammo with each turn. Winning a head-to-head -head earns you extra ammo. The amount of ammo determines which skills can be activated. Use a skill to win a head on Head to head for a big charge to the kinship gauge, but normal attacks won't fill the gauge. So what's a weapon all about just winning the head to heads? Your type of head and inflicting abnormal statuses. You just charge skill for a higher chance of inflicting your opponent with an abnormal status with your next attack. Um, there's also a chance to follow up your attack with a power shot. Hmm. Like I said, I like the idea of statuses, but I also really like the idea of a gun lance. But we're, we'll stay with the bow for now. I might want to get a different bow, though. The poison just doesn't seem super useful. Alright, let's upgrade our armor. We have leather armor. I really like the synchronize ability. I suppose I should see what new kind of armor I can get, though. Oh, that looks ridiculous. Okay. Um, you have fire defense boost, which would probably be useful against- Oh, okay, that one looks even more ridiculous, sorry. Inflict rate up, ooh. Marginally increases abnormal status inflict rate. That'd be pretty good if I was using, um, the bow like I'm talking about, but... God, my character's gonna look ludicrous. Sometimes evades an enemy attack. Cannot evade head-to-heads or kinship skills. Increases evasion. Non-elemental attack boost. Uh, Non-elemental defense boost. And then the boring ass rider armor. And this one just increases my double attack damage. Which was sounding cool at first, but now I'm kind of like... 
Eh. I'm less into it. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot less into it. What is Dancer? Increases speed when at ma uh, full HP. Also boosts attack and defense somewhat. That's cool. Um, your weak point is water. I think we're gonna go for the Banahabra armor because um, that increased chance to apply status effects sounds like it'll go pretty good with my uh, thingy, my bow. And we're wearing this incredibly dazzling set of armor, so everyone get your eyes ready because you're about to look at pure fabulousness. Uh, boom. We have some more of those. Deliver. We have upgraded our armor. Uh, equip it right away. Yeah. Wait, wait, did I just make it again? Uh, oh no, I meant to upgrade it. Shit, shit, shit. That's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed up bad. I screwed up bad. I just made two sets of the same armor, damn it. Uh, should I just sell it? I mean, I have two of them. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's just sell it. I screwed up. I screwed up bad. I screwed up big time. Oh yeah, we should sell in our, our trade-in items too. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we got that armor now. It's just not upgraded. Um, so do I want to get any of these? Azure Serpent Blade looks... nuts. It's not really crazy, though. In any way. Uh, alright, so let's upgrade our weapons. Uh, I think I do want to swap off the Hunter Bow, though. To a different thing. Like, obviously in Monster Hunter, usually, usually you want, like a lot of different types of things to suit a bunch of different types of circumstances or depending on what monster you're, you're facing out against. So maybe I'll run into something that's just like really weak to poison at some point and I'll want to use the hunter's bow. But right now it's not super interesting. Also you guys. To upgrade you... I actually do have what I need to upgrade you guys. Um... But let's let's just go ahead and make that bow that I want. The Kulu arrow, I think, is probably what I'm gonna go for. Because we have the iron bow. Um, oh wait, no, the Kutku stave. Paralyze coating might be nice. The other one's sleep. But paralyze sounds more interesting. The only bad part about it is it's fire coating. I mean, it's it's fire elemental. Speed attack skill. Shoots an arrow dipped in paralysis coating at one enemy. Can inflict paralysis. That sounds very nice, because sleep doesn't seem as good as paralysis, because sleep, you could just attack them and they'd wake up, right? Plus, I would finally have a, a, an elemental weapon. I'm gonna go with this. I want it. It sounds cool. Deliver. Look at our, look at our pretty bow. I like it. Yep. That's our main. And... Let's see, we don't want to forge armor, we've already done armor, but we do want to upgrade some stuff. So, can I upgrade this? I... I only have three. Oh, and this has the same equip draw as my armor. Interesting. It re requires those shells. Um... Well, can I upgrade these? Pretty sure I can, yeah. We have iron ore and... Okay, yeah, I mean, it's pretty boring, but... Sure. There we go. We got an upgraded uh, iron hammer. Uh, do not change. And let's go ahead and upgrade you too, why don't we? Go bluey. There you are. And don't change. Cool. So, yeah, we got a bunch of uh, upgraded stuff there. Can I... I could have just bought weapons, I suppose. But, uh, eh, you just have boring shit. Never mind. Okay. Thank Thanks, stop by, blah blah blah. Oh, I look ridiculous. Oh, I look just as ridiculous as I expected I would look. Why the top hat? What functional reason is there for the top hat with the armor? Is it, is it just a swagger bonus? Like, do the monsters see it and go like, wow, that guy's wearing a top hat in the battle. We don't want to mess with that guy. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, whatever. Um, do I want to buy anything here? I feel like I don't, but I have so much money. I feel like I need to buy something, right? But whatever. Whatever. I'm sure we'll find more stuff to spend money on at some point. 
let's just go talk to uh, the chief and actually do something with this episode, why don't we, rather than just make ourselves look dumb. Chief Gara, we're back! Glad to see you're all right. So, how was it? We tracked down a Yan Kutku. We think that was the one stirring up trouble. Hmm. A Yan Kutku, huh? No worries, though. My buddy here gave it what for and even brought back an egg. You were able to hold your own, huh? Well done. I didn't expect this day to come so soon. But I think it's time to have the barriers taken down. Chief! I'll make the arrangements at once. Until that's finished, please continue with your investigation. Oh man, we're removing our limiters. The weighted clothing is coming off. Nice going, newbie. Whoa, don't you get it? This is a really big deal. Taking down those barriers means you have permission to go see Guardian Rafa. That's my buddy for ya! Even the chief is starting to see how great you are. It's the heterochromia. I'll go get started. Meet me in the center of the village when you're ready to set out. All right, will do. Hey, buddy! I spotted a suspicious Meelinx over by the harbor before. What do you say we go check him out while Kana is setting things up? Okay. What's a Meelinx? I don't even know what a Meelinx is. To the Everden, you prove yourself as a rider by fending off a Yan Kutku. Recognizing your bravery, Chief Gara includes you in the Guardian Rotha investigation. Now the time has come for you to set foot in the Guardian Rotha woods. Cool. Just ignore the fact that I look like, um... Speedwagon? <laughs> Just ignore that fact. I mean, obviously Speedwagon wasn't this purple, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling the purple. The purple's not the ridiculous part, it's that I'm running into battle wearing this. Uh, subquests. So... we can't come... oh, this is new. Shake that soot. Everyone gets a heal. Me, my monsty, everybody! Isn't life suit just the best thing ever? I'll teach you how to make it if you bring me the ingredients. Oh, so that's like a mega potion. Cool, cool. Do I have everything? I do have everything. Okay, well, deliver. Awesome, and we got some level ups for our babies. Look at all of our babies leveling up. Oh my god, they're really leveling up. Congratulations. You learned Rock Launcher, you learned Fireball. Hit them with a Fireball. And you learned Overpower. High chance to, yeah, that ability. Okay, cool. Neato. Introduction to healing items contains the recipe for life soot and restore all allies HP by 50%. Yeah. Uh, Rider 101 quests, we can go ahead and turn this in now, which means more XP for you guys. And we get some wet stones. All right, cool. Um, now that I'm upgraded, why don't we try this? So we got to finish the fight in under one turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. This is just like a, you know, trial battle. Oh, wow, we get Kano with us? Oh boy, we have to finish this in one turn? Okay, this might actually be a little hard. Um, well, uh, what skills do we have access to? I mean, the paralysis is not, is not really going to be useful here if I want to kill them in one turn. Let's switch monsties. Who has the highest attack? Um, you do. So let's switch to you. I also think these things are power, right? So let's go ahead and do... I think they were power. So let's do a uh, speed attack. And I want to win the head-to-head, -head, so let's do it against you. Oh no, you're technical, shit. Oh no, gotta learn their patterns. That was my bad. Will we still be able to do it? That was Avmar that just one hit one. Ah, no, we're not gonna be able to do it. Not in one turn, at least. We won't be able to get the gold reward. Okay, so you guys were technical. Sorry, I thought you were something else. So, my bad. We'll, we'll beat you next time. In one turn. They just look so sad, man. We do, we do look very dapper. I'll give myself that. Two turn victory. Yeah, but we want the gold reward. Alright. We want the gold reward. We're not here for that wimpy stuff. Oh, cool. And I get raw meat for this, too. Neato. So, I might be able to complete that quest again now. The meat one. 
Okay, finishing under one turn. We need to do that. We get some lucky charms and life soot and stuff. Alright, I want to get that gold requirement. We're doing that again. Yup. So you can kind of just get a ton of meat if you just do this quest over and over again, it seems. Alright, so... Wait, you're going for a power attack, which we don't want you to do. I want to switch to... You. So, get in here, Jan Kuku. This is the first time we're seeing you in battle. So, yeah, you're going to use that. Um, and you're using technical, so I do want to beat you in the head-to-head -head like this. Oh, wait. Whoops, I switched to the wrong monster. Actually, Aptanoth would have been the best thing to have in here. My bad. I forgot your technical. Shit. Okay, well, hopefully this still works out. Um, I win. Can I please one-hit it? Not quite. Got a metal Valiant Rider Black. What in the world does that mean? Okay. Well, we almost got it. If I would have used the right thing, we, we probably would have had it there. I also need to find out what their, uh, what their weak, uh, if they're weak to swords and stuff or not, because I think my other weapons may do more damage than my bow. So, yeah, this just requires a bit of, a uh, trial and error. Let's give it another shot here. And I think we will uh, stick with our Aptanoth this time. Mm-hmm. Can I actually look at, um... Rider cards. Rider notes? Rider cards. My rider card. Okay, no, that's that stuff. Um, rider notes? Don't we have, like, a bestiary? Field guides? Aha, uh -huh. select field guides from camp menu and go to Monsterpedia to view information on all the monsters you've encountered so far. You can travel to the habitats of monsters you've slain by using the catavan. Oh, that's neat. Monstopedia contains information on any monsties you form bonds with during your adventure. You can use it to check what each monstie's egg looks like and travel to their natural habitats. Book of Genes records any genes you and your monsties have gained access to. This includes the effect each gene has and which monsties are able to use it. So, um, let's go to the Monstropedia. You. I have killed 12 of you. Um, your weak point is water. Giant herbivores with unique sounding sound-producing organs on their heads, which they use to produce their distinctive calls. They are gentle creatures that only attack if their young are threatened. Now I feel even worse about murdering them. Monster cannot be chased back to its den. That's its loot. And... Okay. It doesn't tell me what their resistances are to various things. I guess I should read these. Placid, crested, herbiv herbivorous monsters. They form herds... Herds? and raise their young as a community, and become defensive when larger monsters approach. Deep-seated in rider culture for their nutritious meat and use as pack animals. Poor things. Diminutive herbiv herbivorous creatures known for their kind nature. Their horns are said to be rich in nutrients. Carnivorous monsters with vivid blue scales. They hunt in packs using aggression and strength to surround and overwhelm prey. Alpha monsters that lead packs of Velociprey. Larger than their fellows, with more prominent crests, Velocidrome use their strong hind legs to leap at prey, pinning them down with their sharp claws before calling for assistance. Yeah. Wingless Kulu Yaku use their front claws to grab objects. They dig up rocks to use as a shield or to throw at their enemies. Versatile Neoptron, Neopterans, whose coloration and abilities differ according to habitat. This one is deep blue. Neopterons that roam in search of food. Neopteron, Neopteron. I, I, I'm probably saying that wrong. Coloration varies based on habitat. This variety is sandy yellow. Without a sharp enough weapon, it is nigh impossible to scratch the robust carapace that encases them. It curls into a ball when threatened and rolls in speed at their attacker. These monsters boast ample beaks and fan-like ears that splay open when angered. A cowardly species, they have dexterous, nimble legs perfect for running away. However, they show little mercy to smaller creatures that encroach on their territory. Kanshu are a staple food for Yan Kutku. Oh, they're cowardly. <laughs> it makes me kind of love them. Oh, wow, their max HP is 1280, though? That's, like, way higher than anything we've seen. Small, aggressive fanged beasts that attack humans on sight. Wide, ranging, and strong in numbers, they've been known to form large herds. Their meat is harvested for consumption, although it's said to be an acquired taste. Alright. Cool. So, 
We didn't super learn what I needed to learn there, but let's give this another shot now. Um, and not switch off of our Aptanoth. Stay with our Aptanoth because it's our only power option. And we are going to also switch weapons to... Um, this? The hammer, maybe? It does way more damage. I feel like they might not mind hammers, though. I'm gonna go with the sword, actually. Alright, so let's go with this. And we are going to use a power attack, because that will counter them. I don't know who you guys are going to attack, but Kano's going after that one, so I'm gonna attack this one. Not quite enough to finish it. Kano won. Not enough to finish. Ah, uh, and then... Okay, yeah, we might- we just might not do enough damage for this yet. Like, we got close. Yeah, I think even with me doing everything right, it's- we're just not strong enough yet. They don't like swords, though, so that's good to learn. I guess I could have used, like, a special or something the first turn, but I don't think I had enough stuff to do it. Okay, well, whatever. We'll wait until we get stronger and then come back to this or learn more about the game slash get better at it. And then we'll see if we can do it then. But hey, me failing this mission over and over again uh, helped me level up my babies. And it also got me a lot of meat that I can then turn in some quests for. So, yeah. Like, uh, we could do this again. We get 20 XP for it, but whatever. We'll, we'll not bother with that. Let's go see what this thing is over here. What's going on over here, huh? Oh yeah, you. Hi. Melix Inc. Whatever you're looking for, I promise you'll find the perfect item for Melix Inc. Kajit has wares if you have coin. Huh, smells fishy to me. Our current item is positively indispensable in expanding, expanding your stables. If you want it, we take bottle caps. Okay, James from Pokemon. Sounds like a bargain, except we don't have any caps. Easy to find. If you can make the long trip into the South Kamuna Everden, that's the meow on the street anyway. Doesn't sound awfully reliable to me, but a treasure hunt's right up my alley. Let's ask Kana for directions. Perfect. Bring me those bottle caps. I'll think about it, nerd. But don't get your hopes up. Alright, so we gotta go ask Kana for directions to this place. Hello, Kana. The south side of the island, huh? I was just getting ready to head there myself. Of course you were. Perfect! We've got a date with an Everden! Wait, you mean the South Kamuna Everden? That place has kind of a notable history, you know. What, what kind of history? Oh yeah, you know, there's like this crazy plague that kills anybody that enters there. It's really messed up stuff. Something bizarre happened there years ago. Right in the very depths of the den. Something bizarre? There was a big fuss about a huge monster showing up there. The village sent some riders to investigate, and... They never came back. It's a ghost. What did they find? In the low light, they could just make out a monster with pale white whiskers and shimmering blue eyes. I think I may know what... what that is, but I don't remember enough of the names to say what the name is. White whiskers? And blue eyes? Mm -hmm. The hulking, tanned creature was dancing around the den. A tanned monster? Did it dancing around the den? What kind of monster was this? Oh, never mind. White whiskers, blue eyes, nice tan? Never mind, I'm stupid. I'm sitting here thinking about what monsters it could possibly be, and it's just you. That sounds just like Chief Gara. Yeah. Turns out that's what it was. Ugh. Huh? You've got to be kidding me! How could they mistake him for a monster? Wait, it's the whole time I thought it was... <laughs> okay, I'm just getting the wrong idea everywhere here. I thought she was making a joke and it was Naviro because he had blue eyes or whatever. And he's tan. So I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I mean, he's kind of tan. I, I, I don't know, man. I know, right? Complete lack of respect. He just laughed it off. But the riders who'd hyped themselves up for a battle didn't find it so funny. That dance must have been pretty peculiar to fool everyone like that. 
I should have known when it said dancing. Nobody had ever seen a human move like that before. He was more like a fanged beast. Whoops, now I'm starting to sound disrespectful. Anyway, how about we get going? Here's hoping we don't run into any actual monsters. God, there's so many belts on this outfit. I look like I'm from Kingdom Hearts. Or the world ends with you. Pretty much anything designed by Nomura, now that I think about it. Uh, okay, so nothing there. Let's go. Let's go get out here and see what we can do. Uh, sure, afternoon's fine with me. No rush, no big deal. Alright, let's see what we got. So, we are going over here, which is a new destination. Could there be a rare one of you guys? Because I, I do want a rare Aptanoth, I think, because... Um, it seems like the healer type. Hi guys, just ignore me please. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate you being cool about this. Thanks for the unique mushrooms. More honey. Ooh, I got five honey. And some blue mushrooms. It's just the healing garbage. Oh, I need to kill more of you guys. Hey. Hey you. Come here. I need to do a big murder on your face. Um... Let's see, we should probably swap weapons. I don't think the bow is going to be very good against you. I think last time we found out that you like to be smashed. Also, I think you're technical, so... Power attack should be good. Yes. Yeah. You're using a yellow... How dare you use your weird sand shrew attack against me? On you. Dead. Yep. One turn victory. We're very, very good at the video game. Are you sure I smashed it? Okay, so yeah, those are the things we needed, right? Top ready a couple of things, or what is the bana 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 shells? I think it was the conchu shells that we needed. And hey, what do you know? There's more of these things to kill. Hey, what's up, nerd? How, don't fly above me. I, I just want to kill you. I just want to kill. Don't you want to kill me? Don't. There we go. See? How hard is that? And let's go ahead and speed up the battle speed for this. Um, were they speed? I can't remember if they were speed or not. No, they were technical, weren't they? Uh, yeah, I think they were technical. Oh, yeah, but you hate hammers because you're a bug and you don't like being smashed. I think you guys were technical. Yes. And now you're uh, dead. Cool. Not new, not, 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 not quite, actually. Two of them are dead. Uh, victory! I smashed it! And we got a bunch of shells, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed some more of those things. So I'm glad to be filling up on those bad boys. Alright, we don't want to go fight those nerds. Let's just keep going this way. A sap plant. I remember ivy being one of the things I had to get a bunch of when uh, playing Monster Hunter. Alright, so I guess we're just going in here. Oh wait, what is that down there? That's the Everden. Bottle caps can be found inside treasure chests in these special monster dens. There are multiple Everdens in each area. Their locations don't change. Some Everdens contain more treasure than others. So it's like a randomly generated dungeon, basically, what I'm assuming. What is this? A throwing knife. That's a whole pile of gar- that's a big old pile of garbage to just have a throwing knife in it. <clears throat> so yeah, are they like procedurally generated random dungeons? Okay, we made it to the Everden. Now let's see if we can find ourselves some bottle caps. I'm assuming that's what this is. I mean, it's called the Everden, so it would make sense if you know it. It, it doesn't run out of, of din. Ever. Nailed it. Hi? No? Nothing? Oh yeah, let's use this ping thing. Just wanna grab some stuff. Especially if it's the glowy variety stuff. Stuff of the glowy variety. Alright, what we got over here? Just you guys. I don't really feel like fighting you. Uh, swim. When riding a monster that can swim, enter water from a shallow point and press B to start swimming. You can only enter and exit water from a shallow point. 
Okay, well, you can't swim, Aptonoth, apparently, even though I'm pretty sure that mo that water would come up to, like, your ankle. Alright, you guys are speed. This I do remember. Um, you... You don't like bows. Big one uh, needs to be murdered by sword, though. Oh, no. Ow. Changed uh, my attack where it was going. Yeah, the sped up uh, combat isn't so bad now, actually. Um, well, you're probably going to fight them. I'm just going to swap to my sword and uh, hit you. How about we do a... Uh, let's see, your speed. So I want to do... Technical. I guess there's not really a point in charge tackle. Uh, charge tackling. This fight's gonna be over in a second. Louis, Deadzo. Boom. Head to head. I win. Boom. Boom. Now it's really mad. Oh. No, you don't. Kablooey. We did it. Nice job, Athenoth. Uh, skills. So, if I had a charge meter, I could do this. But, uh, I didn't charge up, so, whatever. Die. There we go. I smashed it. Uh, Screamer Sack, and a Velocidrome Head, and another Screamer Sack. Cool. Down with that. Yeah, this- I, I'm- I'm willing to put it on three times speed now. I feel like we've gotten, uh, a little bit more used to the combat. Maybe in, like, boss fights or something, I would slow it down. Um, but we don't have anything that can climb ivy. Uh, how big is this map? Uh, okay, there's stuff over here. Let's go ahead and reping. I wonder if we can find really good, uh, eggs inside the Everden? Is that a thing, or what? Oh, hi, it's one of you. Oh, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't see me. Okay, I thought you were cowardly, jeez. Well, it did say it would attack, um, monsters that enter its, uh, area or whatever. Um, yeah, so you guys don't like hammer, so we're gonna go ahead and switch to hammer here. Yes, and if I win a head-to-head -head here, we can build up our charge meter. So, I wanna go ahead and win this head-to-head -head against you. And you are technical, so... Yeah, power does beat technical, so there we go. Oh, you stupid idiot, Abmar. Kablooey. That is a dead one. Okay, cool, you got that poison in early, which is nice. Um, alright. And now... Oh, that's... Okay, you guys are going head-to-head. -head. Okay, I'm gonna attack this thing. Thanks for the herb. Oh, you idiot, Aphanoth. Whatever. Killer Strike, dead anyway. Kablooey, uh, you're good against hammers, so we want to watch that. Um, alright, and you are attacking me. Uh, I shouldn't use that because it's fire damage, so we should go with the sword, probably. Um, and I do have enough to use, uh, one of these. So let's go ahead and do that, and, uh, Soothing Voice, Store Single Allies HP. I, yeah, Kano's using a potion, so we don't need to. I'm just gonna use my Charge Tackle, which will charge me up, which is nice. And Kablooey, big ol' sword smash. Alright, that's good, that's good. And I'm going to use one more charge uh, skill, I think. Uh, oh, wait, this is power. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so perform a slashing attack. And then we can do the, like, wide slash if we wanted to later. Charge up an attack that slams a great sword down on an enemy. Slashing attack on one enemy. This power skill fills up the charge. Okay, so wait. This one fills up two. This is the one that you get if you fill up one charge. And then if you have two charge blocks, you can use a big AOE one, which I don't need anymore. So let's just use charge slash. 
Wow, really, both of you aren't super good against it, huh? Alright, I guess we're gonna use the bow, even though the element is very, very bad against you. Whatever. I, I guess I could have used my attack as well, but... Let's see what we got. You're probably pretty resistant to paralysis, aren't you? Hmm. Draw your bowstring back. Building power to shoot at the end of the next turn. Increases chance of inflicting abnormal statuses. Okay, that might be pretty good. But let's just go with paralysis coding and see how that does. Can you even inflict two statuses? Uh, ooh, you are poisoned. Okay, so you can inflict two statuses. And you're paralyzed. So... Huh. You're paralyzed. What does that do, though, I wonder? I assumed it would make it so they couldn't attack, but... Um... Yeah, you can use your stupid technical attack, Aptanoth, whatever. I'm just gonna shoot. Velocity Crush is probably gonna... yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, that was a pretty good amount of XP and stuff we just got. And we got some scales and some more of those things. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. And yeah, we're still looking for stupid bottle caps. That are apparently in treasure chests in this place. Boom. Gimme, gimme. Gimme. Alright, I want to get there. Oh, we can't just fall. Okay, I didn't know if that was an option or not. Uh, nope, that's just a thousand zinni. That is not what I needed. I thought it was gonna be a bottle cap. Uh, it's giving us the option to quick heal, but I don't really think I need it. Let's just go over here and grab the rest of this stuff. Paint berries. Uh, actually, I should have hit that one with a paintball. Um, I don't know if that works here, though, because we're already in a dungeon, so it can't exactly flee to its den. Unless it goes outside of this area and will go to its den. I kind of assume the paintballs only work when you're on the overworld, not inside of an area already. Okay, well, we can't do that because no swimming monster. Monsty, sorry. And we got some spider web. What's down here? There must be something down here. You wouldn't just have me walk down here for no damn raisin, would you? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Thank you for that. Whatever, just waste my time. See if I care. I don't have anything better to do. I got I got all night, Monster Hunter, all right? You want to waste my time? Waste my damn time. I say all night, but it's like nearly 5 a.m. Hello. I'm just going to attack you in the butt. Just stick my Eptomoth's head in your butt. Okay, I don't remember what you guys were. I feel like you're probably power. Um... So, you're also weak to the sword. Let's go ahead and do that. And skills... Okay, we can't start off with a charge tackle. So why don't we do, um... Let's see... A speed charge tackle is what we want, right? Yes. Even though it doesn't matter right now because we're just attacking them in the butt, basically. Bluey. Job. That's one bull thing go down. And now I can use charge cut, slashing attack, um, or we could use. Oh, I don't have enough for charge slash. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just use a uh, charge cut or the speed one. My bad. Deadzo. I think the battle's gonna be over anyway, though. Yeah. Gotta get used to these, uh, charging systems. It feels very hard to charge it up on the hammer. I gotta say. So, maybe I will tr give the hunting horn a shot? I don't know. We'll see. The idea of giving buffs to my party members sounds pretty good. Um... Like, it could be pretty powerful. 
and also just attacking at the same time. I know a lot of people really, really like the hunting horn and uh, monster hunter. I've just never personally given it a shot, mostly because I would I was always playing by myself, so there kind of wasn't a point in um, using a hunting horn. I feel because pretty much the only thing that's going to get a buff from it is like my palico, and that's it. So yeah, not much reason. Ah, there's Ivy. Yeah, I feel like I had to grind for that stuff a ton playing Mon Hun. Okay, we got some more dunkers. Uh, well, we gotta go the other path, I guess. I wish you moved a bit faster, Aftonoth. Do we do we do we eventually get a uh, monsty that has like the Pegasus boots so they can move faster? Dash in one direction real quick, or if there's just a monster that can dash as their special ability, that'd be very nice. That is a blue chest, by the way. Probably gonna want to grab that bad boy. All right, we do have some critters over here to take out. Can I? Can you let me behind you, please? Thank you. I don't know why this Kulu Yaku is teaming up with these nerds, but whatever. All right. Okay, we're probably gonna want to take out uh, the other things first. So let's go ahead and get this hammer out. He looks so ridiculous holding this hammer. Uh huh. So Kablooey. Well, not quite enough to kill, sadly. No poison? How come no poison? Uh... Louie. Uh, yep, you're gonna lose that, Admar. Okay, cool. You did defeat it, though. Alright, Kulu Yaku. So, power does the technical. I don't know why Aptonoth is using a technical attack, but whatever. Go crazy. Um, I want to see what this paralysis actually does. I didn't really get a good chance to see what it did before. Um, okay, you're using... It's already technical, so I need to use a uh, power attack on you. The bluey. Uh, I should have went with my actual thing. Whoopsie. I forgot to do that. Oh, okay. You're doing your head bashes. Out of Aptonoth's house. Okay. I want to use the paralysis coding again. I just want to see what it... What I, I want to see if I can understand what the paralysis coding does. Oh, you jerk. Ineffective, yeah. Bluey. Alright, back to the hammer. Give you a big ol' smash. Okay, so... Are you considered power now? I think so. So I think Aptonoth is actually gonna lose that. Um... I think, yeah, I think when you have that out, yeah, you're, you're power now. So Aptonoth definitely lost that, but I broke it, so it's fine. And a big crit from Avmar. Cool. I sure did, Kana. Do you have anything, you know, useful to say when we win a fight? God, that was a rank C fight. I did horrible. And that was a back attack fight, too. I still got a lot to learn, it seems. Which makes sense. I've only been playing the game for, like, four hours. Alright. So, up here... Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and it'll... Yeah, change. Thank you. Uh, Kulu Arrow. Wait, did I just find a weapon? Excuse me? Um, also, what is this? Little charms? Winning head-to-heads makes the kinship gauge- Oh, I just realized I forgot to use the, uh, the little charm thing before we left. I completely forgot about that. Winning head-to-heads makes the kill ga kinship gauge fill up faster. I didn't realize I even had these. Negates bleeding. Increases maximum HP. I'd rather have this one, I think. Uh, alright. So, yeah. So we just... Yeah, we did. We just got the Kulu arrow... ...without actually having to make it. I didn't think I was just gonna be able to get weapons in here. Well, that's interesting. We have another option now, if we ever need it. What a nice surprise. 
Yeah, I totally forgot to do the little blessing thing and also get my, uh, daily, uh, what's it called? Um, the, the, the thingy, you know, you know the thingy, my horoscope. Forgot to get my horoscope. What's that looming shape, Ch Chief Gara? Nope, it's a bull drum. We can't go bottle cap hunting with that thing in here, we gotta chase it out. Let's go, buddy. Can't I at least get a back attack on it first? No? Okay, well it does kinda, it is kinda looking straight at us. Alright, come on, friends. I feel like you're probably gonna be a power. My whiskers are getting all tingly, and that's never a good sign. Hey, don't lose confidence now. We've got what it takes to deal with a bull drum. My whiskers never lie. I'm telling you, this place is trouble. No time to hesitate. We gotta take this down. Okay, so... Admar's going with speed. I'm also going to go with speed. Um, and I don't... I think they didn't like swords, right? And I'm going to go with a speed charge tackle. Hopefully this gets a double attack for me and Admar. Never mind. I thought that would work. Okay, well, look out poison. That's good. Admar 1. Cool. Um, alright. Most of us are using speed now. Good, good, good. Uh, can we charge one more time? Um, so, let's use the charge cut. S. A bluey. And yeah, using Focus Slash, Speed Attack, Overpower, Focus Power. Okay, your attack's up. And your defense? Defense and attack are both up, it seems. So... Let's go with... I have two meters, but I can't use the thingy I want to use here. Because we don't have enough Kinship Gauge. Um... I can't use total evasion either. Let's just uh, win this head to head, why don't we? With a double attack, so your attack gets cancelled. Yeah, you're using your little focus. Big old technical attack. Alright. Now we definitely have the stuff I need to do my skill. Why can I not use this one? It requires one charge block. I have one charge block. So I guess you can't use one, you have to use both of them? Interesting. So I can't spend one and then still have one banked for later. I have to use- I have to use- if I have two, I have to use the one that requires two. If I have one, I have to use the one that requires one. Alright, I didn't know that was the case. Well, en enjoy this big AoE attack, you one enemy. It was pretty big damage, at least. Uh, lethal tackle. Evaded. Nice evade. My whiskers have gone to Tingle Town. There's something here just waiting to pounce. It's gotten into you. There's nothing here but us and the bull drum. Let's finish this. There's another creature about to join the fight here. That's what I'm guessing is happening here. Let's use this charge tackle this time. See if we can actually get a skill off. And focus slash. The bluey. The bluey. Warning. Uh-oh. Launch. Oh my god, it's an Anjanath. What the? Where did this guy come from? Son of a gun lance, it's an Anjanath. I told you there was something else here. There's no time to gloat. We gotta get out of here. Uh, nah, let's kill the Anjanath. Let's do it. Are you gonna tutorialize me on running away? What's about to happen here? Great sword on one enemy. Yes. Let's use that. Burning blast. I hate to say this, but I don't think we're ready to take on a monster this strong yet. He strides on the flash bomb. Now's our chance to escape. Okay, Anjanath was uh, very angry at us existing. I was wondering if you were going to be in here. Whew, we got away. Anjanath was like the first monster in, in Monster Hunter World that just kicked my ass. That thing was hard. Don't worry. We should be safe now. Basket of bitter bugs, what was that thing? I was expecting a dancer, not some kind of raging nightmare! Yeah, that was a raging nightmare. Look, just calm down, I'll explain. That was an Anjanath. It's a fierce monster for sure, but it usually keeps its distance from humans. I have a feeling this is all connected somehow. We'd better head home and warn everyone. Sounds like a plan! Let's skedaddle! All oh, this stress isn't good for my heart! 
Naviru, wait. That's a dead end. Hey, who's the navigator here? You really think I wouldn't? Huh? Buddy, are you seeing this too? A treasure chest? Looks like that shady Meelinx was telling the truth after all. Grab the bottle caps and let's get out of here. What, is the Anginath not chasing us? I guess we did flash bomb it. Wait, where did that Anginath go? Excuse me? Oh, nice find. The Meelinx back in the village trades in bottle caps. Let's pay them a visit. But since we came all this way, we might as well take an egg too. Quick, before the Anginath comes back. Oh, I guess the flash bomb made the Anginath run away because it got scared. We didn't run away, the Anginath did. Okay, yeah, I, I suppose that makes sense. I didn't recall what flash bombs were. I guess, I, I thought maybe it just like stunned them and we ran like a, a ninja vanish, if you will. But no. Alright, well let's grab ourselves an egg. I'm gonna pick up an egg, oh yeah. Sorry. Obviously the Anginath came over because it was like, wow, that guy's looking pretty dapper. I just want to walk up and tell him how great he looks. Uh, give me a sec. Doesn't smell like much. It's light too. The eggs are all gone. This is probably an Anginath egg, right? Is that maybe why the Anginath ran up on us? Because we were at its nest or whatever? It could be the case. Alright, well, out of here we go. Leave. I gotta go get my horoscope, man. All right, we got our Paulson's bottle caps. Time to visit that Melinx. From the camps menu, map mode, yep. Map mode, thanks for reminding me, just in case I didn't remember, but surprisingly, I did remember. That is a very good feature, so. Ow. My face. It's in pain. All right, what's up? Um, I'm just gonna get my luck here. Because everything else isn't going to matter. Uh-huh. What you got? It so doesn't sound like your voice. I'm going to be honest. Okay, can we... Let's skip this. We've seen this enough. Half moon. Half moon. Well done. Thank you. We got a heart churro and a lucky charm. Thank you. Alright, so... There's that. Um, forging and upgrades go and see. Well, you've forged all the weapons I think I want to forge. Um, okay. And yeah, so level three is the max on these. So I can just have like a bunch of different options for what weapons I want to use. So that's nice. That is very nice. For right now, I think I'm going to upgrade this because yeah, we have everything we need to do that. Cool. So that is now level two. Don't change, and do I have everything? Oh, no I do not. I don't even have close to enough stuff. Okay. What about the Hunter's Bow? Oh yeah, that's super easy. Okay, yeah, Hunter's Bow is very easy to max out. So yeah, you can have, it's much, much like um, Monster Hunter World, you can kind of have just a lot of different maxed out weapons and just choose which one's best for the, uh, for the expedition that you're going on, which is nice, I like that. Uh, yeah, we've killed quite a few of you guys, so... We can probably go ahead and max this weapon out, too. Uh, no, we'll keep things the same, but... The sleep has me interested. Oh, we need Bulldrum materials. Well, I don't have those. Okay, cool. We've done that. Upgrade my armor? Yeah! Oh yeah, and my weak point's fire. I gotta watch that. Uh, inflict rate up small. So, and this is upgrade. Yes, I just want to make sure this time. Um, boom, boom. Gotcha. Hopefully, level three requires four? Okay, no, that's not four. That is not four. All right, we need a lot more before we can upgrade that. Okay, what about leather armor? Oh yeah, we have that stuff. We have that stuff. Let's just, you know, if we can max out the armor, let's just, let's just max out as many different types of armor as we can, just so we have nice, nice options. Except for the rider armor. Screw the rider armor. Don't care about the rider armor. Um, alright. Thank you. Maybe the rider armor is super good and I'm being mean to it, and if that's the case, then I apologize, but... Alright, I just want to check out the quest board and turn in any things that we can. Roly-poly problems. 
we did it. And we got some insect husks. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. All right. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2 off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.